we're down at Seven Creeks. Uh, I'm just going to come and put some gifts in the gifting bowl. We're going to walk around back there for a little bit. I've been here for about 20 minutes now, walking and whistling. I forgot my flute, but I did bring my back cam. I got a back cam on my backpack, and it's a little bit overcast, but it's I think we're still above zero. Uh, the snow is right at that point of melting. So, and there's no frost on the trees. Last time I was here, it was frosty. Not hoor, hoor, frost on the trees. And I still think, thinking back, right now when I'm, as I was doing my whistles up and down the road here, the echo, right? It's carrying back there into the tree, down into this valley that's behind me. Uh, the last time I was here when I whistled, the sound didn't carry very far back into the tree. But today, it's going a long ways. Before we walk the trail up to the gifting, off to the gifting site, to the gifting bowl, I'm going to do a few more whistles and then we'll, we'll head in. Um, for the back cam, I have two Sony camcords, right? This one's an older, an older model, but it has a zoom mic on it. Right, it's got a better microphone on it. I'm hoping that the uh, picture is going to be okay on it, but I was thinking sound. Um, it's got a very good mic on this one, but we'll use this one today and we'll just see what happens. We've had quite a bit of thawing and then freezing. Thawing and then freezing and it's kind of nice when it does that here are my markers and we've lost quite a bit of the snow that was back in here <clears throat> marker walking up the hill walking up the hill gifting bowl is good Good and empty. That's good. What I left here was taken. Okay. Well, that's where we're gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna take a walk down there first before we get started. I still think, oh, squirrely, somebody's coming, or somebody's moving. Uh, it, everything goes downhill this way, right? Everything is downhill on this side and straight to the south. Straight to the south of me, it's all downhill from here, right? So. I do hear something. It sounded like a vocal. And uh, it sounded like a vocal. And uh, I hear walking. I come bearing gifts. I don't follow that many other channels. Um, like I don't know I don't have an overall picture of what's going on out there within the Bigfoot community, but I am told that there's certain are certain 
researchers and channels out there pushing the narrative that they're they're evil, they're monsters. I want to do a whole video on that because I have so much love for these beings and they have showed me so much love. Um, I've had one, one of the big males at the farm on near our property there come very, very close to me in the dark. The energy that was coming off of them was, it was almost too much for me to handle. They have, there's an energy that surrounds them. Anyway, he came up close and I had to tell him uh, enough, like stop. Like I, I said, stop. You got to back up, back up, because I thought I was going to fall down, physically fall down. And he did back up, and I was trying to, I was trying to overcome that and trying to calm myself, trying to come back out of that. And all of a sudden, from his direction, come the most beautiful feeling of love. It was the big male, right? The patriarch. That's the one we tracked. I think he's got a 20-inch track. He's huge, and <clears throat> even thinking back on it, it's hard to talk about, but, um, and that, that love that come from him, it was almost like oil being poured over my body, like a warm oil was being poured over me, and it, it just instantly calmed me, took all that uh, kind of panic um, feelings away, and, and it was good. And I heard him a little ways away, I would say maybe 12, 14 feet from me, you could hear the deep breathing, the big breaths, right? I was putting treats and gifts in the gifting bowl, and this was in the dark. I couldn't see him, but I could, like, he come right up, I heard him. And I, in the dark, I swore he was only maybe five feet from me to my right along these, along the pine trees. Just on the other, if you notice on the gifting bowl, there's a big boulder there. I think he was standing right on the other side of that boulder. They're such a beautiful being, a beautiful species, and then there's people, these people out there, right, that are trying to make them out to be these horrible things. Um, I was told by one of my subscribers, I'm not about a researcher, I don't know who the researcher is or the channel, but they were saying something about, you know, don't ever think that you won't be these Bigfoots of lunch, right? They, like, <laughs> like they're going to eat us, right? They want to eat it? No. Like that kind of, that kind of narrative, it's, that it's, that's being pushed out there, that just needs to disappear, right? That needs to go away because I think those individuals that are pushing that narrative, they're not going to get any further than they, than they have, right? Well, I don't understand why these beings would want to have anything to do with ones like that, right? Um, we need to respect them, their space. We need to respect their territories. You're going into where they live. It would be like me going into your house and just barging in, right? Oh, here I am, as if I had a right to. And that's, that's the wrong way to approach them, right? It's just, it's just not good. But I do want to do a video on that. And I want, I'm going to ask them to come. And we'll, you know, we'll do that together. They will, they'll come. Whether it be in spirit form or in physical form, um whatever they choose to do i'm going to ask them to come forward and be there when i talk about this i think they're listening i think they're listening everything went quiet even the forest went silent Here, movement and walking and a squirrel. Squirrel always tells you there's something below him, right? There, the other one of my Bigfoot detectors, Sammy's number one, Squirrely's number two. I put the back camera back on. It's, it's too low when I have it on the ground. After we're done with putting the treats in the bowl, we're gonna just take a little walk back in here. It's so nice to be out here.
Okay. Okay. Let's do this. I can hear you. I hear you. I miss you guys. Wait till springtime. I'll be out here as often as I can. I will. Whereabouts are you? I'm going to leave these here. Um, well, we go walk. I did bring a few candies. I still, every time I do it, I feel guilty. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, they're here. I don't know if I'm, if um, I don't know if any of you remember. I'm sure some of you remember. I talk about it. it. Almost sounds like a wind when they come. This group, especially this group, it's almost like the sound of a wind when they approach and it's right through the trees like it's not above them or I come in it'll come right through a little area of the trees and I know they're here that's what I was hearing while I was putting the putting the gifts in I don't know if you can hear that You can hear it coming. Okay. Hear it? And it's, what's interesting about that wind, like, you can hear it moving through the trees, like in a, like it's not all over, like there's no wind where I am here. Like there's nothing. Things are still. They're there somewhere. But we'll go walk back up in there. Hopefully they're okay with it. Do you hear it? And you can hear it moving. Whoops, and it's very much like wind. It sounds like wind. And I do. I want to show you something that I found. There is tracks coming up to the to the gifting site. I seen them. Uh, was that a whoop? One of the subscribers had an interesting idea. He said, "Take twelve steps or eight steps. I think it was twelve steps. Stop. Right." 
and listen. And thank you for that because I do, the energy picks up and the activity picks up. Uh, you can feel it in the, the whole area kind of shifts. And it's, it's difficult to think all these things through and remember all these things. I know you probably think I don't hear you and or that because I'm not trying them in the in because I'm not doing it back in the bush I'm not listening but I am trust me I hear you I hear you it's just that uh when things pick up the energy picks up it's all of those things are kind of kind of gone um I find myself trying to relax keep my breathing what I spend most of my energy trying to do because things shift I think there's a shift but I wanted to show you um, I'll follow these are my tracks right here <sighs> where I walked I think my back cam's bouncing around okay right to the left here wait a second move that wind that movement whatever it is is up there we'll go up there uh okay so i keep hearing hearing stuff there's tracks here going up to the gifting site uh these are mine and then there's a larger set just to the right of mine here um they've been snowed over they're big though like i'm looking i'll make a mark here Like that first mark there to that one. I'm gonna put my boot there. I don't know. Like I say, it's been snowed over. And a lot of times when you get a track of anything, uh, it can double in size because when that snow melts, it'll expand anything that's left a track in the snow, but these tracks are going right up to the gifting site. I think I see a structure up in there, but we're gonna take a little, a little walk in and out. There's a set going all the way, it's a trail, right? That looks like a trail. It does, it looks like a trail. Huh, interesting. Okay. There's this, that set of tracks that's going up this way. Um, okay. Yeah, they're building something here. I wonder if this wouldn't have been a better place to put the kitchen ball. Like, look at this stuff. That's interesting. Okay, we'll go up in here into the spruce and then we'll head back. Arch, there's an arch right here. Ooh. See, um, that's a nice one. And that one's going right into the ground. That one's going right into the ground. And see, I gotta go around this stuff. I don't like going out of respect. I don't go through, under, over, or touch these structures, right? Eh? What was that? Or touch these structures, right? Eh? What was that? Oh, that was a, a wood knock or something. Go up, go up, up and around. Right here. That's not, oh, that's squirrel, okay. All right. 
I'm about at the top of the hill. We've got structures, breaks, arches. Looking now, another one there. I'm surrounded by these. Right where I am. Okay, I hope you can see that. Right there. This would be a very nice place to camp. All oh, the spruce trees, we're right under, under spruce trees here. Oh, whistle. Two. That's good. That is good. Okay, let's make our way out. I want to over overstay my welcome we're gonna make our way out that camera a little lopsided back there That's right, this structure right behind me. You can see that. That's a structure. It's just a little ways from the gifting. I can't see from the gifting bowl, but it's right near it on the other side of a, a bunch of fallen trees. Hmm, interesting. Okay. The thick of things, right? Going through the thick of things. Thick of it. Okay. Well, we made it. We made it. Okay. So, wasn't a bad to be down here um where was I oh my sister yeah she's agreed to come out again uh, but for her like we were it was quite warm that day but you seen her all bundled up in gloves and toque <laughs> and she's not used to she's not conditioned I guess like I am um, she didn't she's not outside that often so and me I'm out in it every day four hours five hours a day with uh, the farm, with the chores and stuff, and then out here, um, it doesn't really bother me that much. So, and I, and I won't wear anything over my ears. My ears are tough because when I come out, I won't wear anything so that I can hear what I need to hear. Right? If I have a toucan and something covering my ears, I can't hear a thing. Everything's muffled, and that's kind of what she was experiencing while we were back there at the blueberry patch. Anyway, we did it. We come and we accomplished what we were going to accomplish. Gifting bowl is nice and full. Uh, fairly full. Now again, I'm not feeding. I'm gifting and they're treats, right? I'll be back. Some goodies. Yeah, carrying all this stuff. That is when it's nice to have uh, that second person, right? Second set of hands, 
second set of eyes, second set of ears. I agree with Robin. Um, one of the subscribers, he he mentioned, yeah, he said it can it can be a benefit, and then he said it could work, and then it might not work, right? And I agree because um, I think they're so used to me alone doing this alone, coming into these areas alone. Um, that's what they've gotten comfortable with. So. And it would be a, another thing that they would have to get used to, right? Okay, we're out. All right. Okay. I'm masking the trails. I'm walking sideways. made it I'm just going to fill them a little bit back into the trees here and then we'll call it a day right there. That's my trail in. All right, everybody, I will leave it there. Coming to you from Seven Creeks. If there's anybody new here, new subscribers, thank you for being here. I hope you stick around, stay with us, and you guys all take care. See you in the trees. Bye for now.